and the leaves uncurled their edges so entrance was easier. Under door lip, slick as a knife cut, crouching in corners as if merely blown in, trod upon and crunched into crumbs. Life was glass and crumb and fall. The divination of sighs and silences and sleep sounds, how much time a tongue lingered, a sifting through small breathings. Paper is easier, even when everything, anything, no thing is spelled out. A shuffle, an arm arced overhead, anybody unconcerned and invisible. A damp dervish of spectacle and oddity, white and naked as a moon. Those that enter the house on the sole of a bare foot at least are invited. Try to read a fall of leaves, a hand stays still at least. Shade. A smooth glass counts for something. Look through it, look at. White liquid spins when the glass spins. When it rains, that torso tree trunk just past the window with the crooked shade is a nude torso, one breast only, when white liquid spins in a smooth glass and it rains through the sad window with the crooked shade. Look at. Pretty words are gone now and white paper could mean anything, could mean a bad day now, could mean a good day for someone else, could mean no thing, but that is how it is. Put it back. Look at this day. Look away when you must, when necessary. Look down. White rain spins. Crooked shades hide wet tree trunks and white paper. Thick liquid slides. And you can mean so many things. In your pocket right now, white paper melts in white liquid. In the wash in time. Through sad windows, secret liquid slides oily and white, down torsos, one breast only. Secret words in sad liquids shift and spin. Leaf. She is not here on the braided rug, warm and thick, scrunched and small. The sky goes purple and swollen. The air is quiet, swells, explodes. The tree limbs turn upside down, light green, white leaves flash and roll with it all. She, with it all, her arms turn up to meet the sky. The hot air, like from a mouth, arms a slash of white against purple. She wants to be inhaled like an accidental bug. She wants to know why they watch and worry, why they think her important enough to hide, big enough to be noticed, choked on. She turns her edges to the sky and waits to catch fire.